After the greatest mass extinction at the end of the Permian, only a handful of land animals survived, and among them were the synapsids, the ancient lineage that would one day give rise to mammals. The early Triassic world was harsh a landscape of droughts, unstable climates, and meager vegetation, where survival demanded toughness more than elegance. Among the few dominant survivors stood Lystrosaurus, a sturdy, tusked herbivore with a beak-like mouth and strong digging limbs. It could burrow during droughts and feed on deep, hardy roots, abilities that let it endure where most others perished. In some fossil beds, it makes up nearly 90% of all land vertebrate remains a living emblem of resilience after disaster. But the Triassic world was changing fast. As climate stabilized and archosaurs, the ancestors of crocodiles, dinosaurs, and pterosaurs, diversified, synapsids lost their dominance. Yet from within their lineage arose the cynodonts, smaller and far more advanced forms that looked strikingly mammal-like. These cynodonts had differentiated teeth, powerful jaws, and warm-blooded metabolisms. Many were agile insect eaters, living in burrows and venturing out only by night, quiet survivors in a world ruled by reptiles. They were evolving traits that would one day define mammals, parental care, efficient lungs, and perhaps even the first traces of fur to regulate body temperature. While the mighty archosaurs ruled the daylight, the cynodonts mastered the shadows. They learned to thrive through intelligence, adaptability, and cooperation rather than brute strength. By the end of the Triassic, most large synapsids had vanished, but the cynodonts endured. From their ranks would emerge the first true mammals of the Jurassic, carrying forward the ancient spark that had survived the Permian apocalypse.